Salutations and welcome to another episode of Dapper's Devices. I am your host Dapper Demon, and I've cooked up or cooked up something a little special for you today. So if you'll look at this, uh, as you can see, there is a zombie and a villager and a beacon right here. And if I hit this switch right here, the zombie will step on the beacon block, and now he is a statue. So if I open this, the zombie still will not attack the villager. Villager might go towards the zombie, but the zombie is a statue. Now there are a couple of issues with this. Uh, statue machine that I've created and that's hold on let me uh, get this villager out of the way oops okay so one is that they still make noise as you just heard uh, the second one this is the block I'm using for the trophy stand there that's what I'm calling it the uh, the statue stand because it's not obtainable in survival or creative without using certain codes but another issue with this, as you can see, is that it's off-center. As soon as he steps on the, be on the beacon block, he loses his intelligence and becomes a statue. So, he's sort of hanging off the edge here, as you can see. So that's a little annoying. Uh, and they do still take damage. So if I break these, you'll see that this zombie, since he's out in the sunlight, will take damage. But he can't move because he's... Uh, he doesn't have artificial intelligence anymore. He has no AI tag. So, uh, there's a few ways I've come up with uh, to solve this. To solve the the issue of burning in sunlight and taking damage, probably just cover it up. Uh, to solve the issue of centering, we have this here creeper. And as I, as you can see, hello, uh, yeah, he's, he's still moving around, so he's still got his AI. And to solve the issue of centering, you just try to drop it onto the block from above. That didn't work. There we go. So now... He doesn't have AI. He is a statue. So if I remove all these blocks around him, you'll see that he does not move. Uh, they will retain the pose they were in when they lost their AI. And you can break this block too. There's He'll just float in midair. Uh, you can break that block, you can replace it with whatever you want. But yeah, also, um, you don't have to name tag these guys. You can if you want. Name tags do work on them, but you don't have to use a name tag to get them to stay there. So right now he's in the spawn chunk, so I can't demonstrate that. But here's the machine that makes it work. So, um, let me just break all these blocks here, and you can see the inner workings of this. So there we go. This button, once you load it into your world, you want this to be in the spawn chunks, right? Or in order for it to work anywhere in your world. But uh, as long as it's in the spawn chunks, it should work anywhere in the world. And here's the how it works. These two blocks right here, command blocks, are just filling this constantly with redstone. Uh, if I just grab another one of those, edit that to negative one and redstone block. Whoops. There we go. Now it'll work. Uh, this is filling it with stone, this is filling it with redstone, that's using stone to uh, reduce lag because if I was using air that would have to constantly update the light. Uh, this button right here activates this one which sets the whole thing going by putting a redstone block right there. What that does is gets the fill clock going which constantly triggers this command which checks for basically any entity that's got a beacon block right beneath it. Now you can change that to whatever you want, change it to uh, I don't know, uh, stone if you want to, but I would recommend if you do change it, I chose the beacon block because it's impossible to build, or impossible to find in your world, and very difficult to actually build since you need the wither star, so that makes it the ability to actually make trophies pretty rare. You can change that to whatever you want, but I recommend that if you do change it, you keep it as something that you don't find naturally in the world. So, for instance, if you just decided to set that to grass, then everything would freeze that's standing on grass. So that would not be a good idea, unless that's what you want. And when after it does that, uh, it doesn't uh, touch this command block, that's just triggered by this button here. Uh, but after it does that, it will check for anything standing on the beacon. Again, if you change the other one, the beacon and the other one, you'll have to change this to the same thing. And it just sets the block underneath it to double stone slab. That only works if this works. So. For instance, if a player walks on a beacon, uh, since it can't set the player's no AI tag to 1, then it won't actually trigger. Actually, if you check in this, it'll say failed to... Okay, never mind, that didn't work. But if I step on this, as you can see, it stays as a beacon and it won't change into something else. Now, this can be a little annoying if, say, you have an actual beacon somewhere in here, 
and something walks over it, it will turn into a statue, but you can probably make that easy just by putting some glass over it, over the beacon, so that nothing can stand on there. Whoops. Okay, one thing I did forget to mention real quick, uh, if, you're, if you haven't worked with command blocks before, you probably won't know this, but there's a game rule, and if you have it set to... Hold on, let me just type it in. Command block output. And if that's at true, which is the default, then when I hit this button, you'll see the, the chat is constantly spammed with block placed. And when it's successful, it'll spam it with other commands, but it'll just constantly spam the chat with useless info. So what you want to do is type ga slash game rule command block output false and I'll paste that into the uh, the the description too so you can copy that if you want to uh, but as you can see the the text fades so it's not constantly spamming your chat box anymore so uh, thank you for watching uh, there will be a download link to this machine in the description remember keep it in the spawn chunks if you want it to work everywhere in the world uh, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like, but until next time, farewell.